Hello ladies and gentlemen, Nukem Dukem here, and welcome to Star Trek The Game Walkthrough. I want to let you know that I'm giving away two PC copies of this game, and it's a key for Steam, so make sure you have Steam and a good computer. Well, you don't really need a good computer for this game. But anyways, I want to thank my sponsor, Cheap Shark Gaming, for providing me with these CD keys. And if you can have a chance, just click on the link below to make sure you go to their website. And based on how many traffic I bring there, they'll provide me more games. Uh, what the website is, is it looks at every cheap game games on the internet and just put it and post on their website so it makes it very convenient if you're trying to find cheap games and uh in order to win just post a comment in part one and then the end of this uh walkthrough and make sure you subscribe like and if you could do a favor um share this part one video so i can get um more cd keys to give away in the future and i want to thank you guys especially for that okay so um about this game, it's a uh, it's a prequel. Well, not the prequel. It's the segue into the uh, next Star Trek movie, which is 2013. Uh, so this is the bridge from movie one to movie two, and what happened in between. And I want to let you know you can play with both characters. It's co-op. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter who you play. The story's the same, the dialogue's the same, and the cutscenes the same. So it's just whoever you want to prefer. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick Spock since I like his uh, quirkiness and. Uh, <laughs> It's a little bit alien, so uh, we'll play this offline. Uh, it's kind of early, so we don't have people to play with. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Ambush! Their numbers are overwhelming. Surrender may be our only option. No! Don't give them an inch! Oh, wow, we're starting off with uh, heavy action right away. All right. So I don't know what just happened, how we just got in this big mess, but that's cool. Alright. Woo! Captain, grenade! your move, Captain. I'm aware of that, Mr. Spock. Damn it! Your choice was valid, Captain, but highly predictable. Predictable? Since when have I ever been predictable? That is precisely why the move was predictable, Captain. Another... Captain, we have received an emergency signal from a nearby space station. Please report to the bridge at once. Shall we finish the game later, or do you concede defeat? <laughs> you should know me better than that by now, Spock. I never concede. Oh, Kirk, you sly dog. <laughs> Alright, seems like they're giving us the basic controls. Okay. Did you try reversing it? Oh, yeah. the uh, tricorder. Okay. Kind of tells us what to do. I think we can direct Kirk around. So basics of the game. What's going on down there? The radiation from those binary stars is making communications difficult. But the station appears to be in some sort of distress. Hmm. Check off readings. They are operating on emergency power and are struggling to maintain altitude. Cause? Unknown, sir. Captain, they have issued a request for immediate evacuation. Then let's help him out. Mr. Scott, prepare transporters. I wouldn't recommend it, sir. Those stars are giving off too much interference. Unless we achieve manual lock, we might fry those little guys. Then we'll get them out the old-fashioned way. Prepare my shuttle and meet me in the bay. Aye, aye, sir. Captain, in spite of your seemingly endless desire to stretch your legs, I must remind you that you are still a Starfleet captain. This is clearly a job that Mr. Scott and a few ensigns could handle. But then I'd miss all the fun. Sir, 
The more prudent choice would be to stay on the Enterprise and wait for a response to our hails. Oh, you're right. Lieutenant Uhura, any response to our hails? None, sir. Well, looks like I'm going. Alrighty. <laughs> I love how Kirk is so sarcastic. That's me. Alright, hurry up, Kirk. Stop, uh, lingering. Captain, I must safe. insist. You insist? You know what, Mr. Spock? A change of scenery might do you some good. Captain, you come with me. All Your right. shuttle's ready, Captain. But do you think it's wise to go yourself? I'm sure me and some recruits could handle Don't this. Go. Don't worry, Scotty. You'll be fine. Always makes me nervous when he says that. She's hot down at sick bay. All right, let's make our way to the shuttle. This way, it's pocket suited up. Ooh, space outfits now. <laughs> what? I wanted the color red. Anyways, let's go ahead and go inside. Enterprise shuttle confirming approach at five by six. Maintain minimal safe distance. Affirmative, Enterprise. I'm picking up high levels of radiation from two binary stars. The normal space station would have been fried by those two stars by now. What the hell are they doing out there? Captain, the station appears to be outfitted with solar collectors, but they are unlike any I have ever encountered. Mr. Sula, do you have any clue what an experimental power station would be doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Negative, Captain. Whatever they're doing, Starfleet doesn't have any record of it. Preparing for final approach. Keep the engine running, Mr. Sulu. I don't think we plan on staying on that thing for too long. Aye, Captain. to a broken ship. <laughs> right, let's go in. Radiation scan commencing. Please step forward for decontamination. Alright. Dude, you have to stand by me like that? That's creepy. <laughs> no, how about I stand right... Oh. Oh, I can walk through him. Okay. Officer, where is the captain of this station? This way. You must hurry. Alright, let's keep Is this rolling. the fun you were afraid you were going to miss, Captain? Right. We need to get everyone out of here right away. Captain, we must find an alternate route. Very perceptive, Mr. Spock. Yes, indeed, in my supernatural intelligence. Captain, we're picking up some strange readings. There appears to be some sort of anomaly. We kind of have our hands full. Anything we need to worry about right now? The readings are off the charts, sir, but I don't think so. Just keep an eye on him, Mr. Chekhov. Aye, aye, sir. All right. The door together. I guess this is a co-op part. <laughs> Good thing Peter knows what to do. He's stuck in there. Let's get him out of there. I believe the door can be hacked from this side. Please, eh, he's just acting dramatic. Alright, let's go ahead and hack this and open the door. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Here we are. Oh, and you can just get a fight now. <sighs> I am in your debt. Formalities are unnecessary. Please proceed to the shuttle bay for immediate evacuation. Captain. Right, let's hack this. Okay. So, we have to match the signals. Okay. Easy enough. There we go. Nope, nope. Not yet. Uh, there we go. Okay. Just got a lot easier. Okay. There we go. Okay. Last two right here. Alright, people. I saved you. Now let's get out.
Oh boy, okay. So it looks like they want us to move along this. A way to disable that laser. Yes, okay. What if we aim our gun at it and uh, disable it? There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and climb. And up a daisy. There we go. Captain, the anomaly and the failure of this station are most assuredly connected. One catastrophe at a time, Mr. Hey, Kirky! Okay, oh, looks like they want us to go up there. Okay. Uh, I guess it was just climb. There we go. Let's hop over here. Okay, a couple more up. Here goes Spock. Come on, Kirk, where are you? He has to climb. Whoa! Where'd you come from, man? Step forward. Mm, that doesn't sound good. Captain, I would not advise stepping into that scanner. No other way around, Spock. Oh, okay. We're going to just crouch to it. Captain Kirk of the USS Enterprise, we have a shuttle ready for your evacuation. While we appreciate your assistance, our captain and many of our top scientists are trapped in the transporter room on the other side of the station. We cannot simply abandon them. Any suggestions, Mr. Spock? If we were able to reach them, Mr. Scott may then be able to obtain a manual lock on our positions. I'm afraid that may prove impossible. All interior passages are blocked. Will the suits hold up out there? With the solar shield failing, direct exposure would mean certain death. Well, I hate certain death. Spock, let's try to avoid direct exposure. Captain, I will offer whatever assistance I can over your communicator. But again, I fear that these efforts... Yeah, yeah, we get it. Certain death. Any other words of advice? Try to live long and prosper. I think we should do it. Be cool to combust. <laughs> See how tough we are. Even though that's something Kirk would say, not Spock, though. Let's go ahead and gear up. Gear up, partner. We should engage mag boots now, sir. Okay. There we go. Stick ourselves to the ground. The solar collector is failing. We must avoid direct exposure. That suit is gonna melt off your back. Get into cover, Spock. Captain, we should stay in cover until it regenerates. Got it. Wait for it. Go now! Alright, let's go! <laughs> go, Spock! Okay, here we go. Woo! Oh, it's firing up! Find some cover, that's an order. Got it. Alright, let's roll. Oh, Doug! Oh, are we okay? Oh, crud! Oh, no! Take cover. Alright, now we can go. Woo! It's getting hot out here. It is. I am uncertain how much more exposure our suits can handle. Captain, we should stay in cover until it regenerates. Alright. Oh, I'm all about going against the rules. Whose right. idea was this anyway? I believe it was yours, sir. Right. Quick, behind those barriers. Alright. We're almost there. Come on. Alright, one more wave and then I think we should make it. There we go. Oh, oh, crud. Okay, here we go. We're almost there. We gotta run for it, guys. Come on. Woo. Open. Kirky, did you die? We should work together to open this door. Lieutenant, we have reached the station's core. We seek whatever further assistance you can provide. The only way forward is to shut down the core's rings. To do this, you will need to work together. One of you must scan the control console to stop the ring. This will allow the other person to engage the locking mechanism. Commander, 
I must warn you, a manual shutdown under these circumstances is highly risky. Gotcha. You should split up. Alright, who does what? Who does what? <laughs> I have located the control console. I believe I can scan it to stop the ring. Alright, I guess I'm gonna stop the ring. There we go. Captain, now would be a good time to shoot the locking ring. Success, Captain. We must repeat the maneuver for the remaining rings. Ah, right, good job, Kirky. We have to run for it before we get lit up again. We need to split up if this is going to work. Oh, oh, crud. Oh, it's going to fire. All right, Kirk. All right. What are we supposed to do? Alright. One of us will need to stop the ring so the other can shoot the brake. Got it. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, take care of this right here. Arrow, shoot it, Kirky. When the ring is stopped, that brake is exposed. Another one down. Just Here. one more ring to go. Alright. Hurry up before we blow up and combust. Last one here. Oh gosh, hit! This place is falling apart! Got me! Outwork, let's keep moving. What? I thought that was the last one. Oh gosh! Okay. Yeah, I'm getting fried here. Oh my gosh. Alright, we're almost there. We're going for it, guys. Alright, woo! We're through the core. Let's find that stranded crew. Alright, pray, it, bro. There we go. Thank you. Alright, you can stay out there. Oh, I believe that. we may be able to open those vents. Perhaps our phasers will work. Worth a shot. Okay. Open the vents, bro. There we go. Sir, we can shoot the vents to create cover. Nice. But, uh, one more? There we go. We'll wait one more, then. We want to be safe. Even though our health regens quickly. Now, let's roll. Still alive. Quick, let's get him inside. Captain, life support is now at 4% and failing. Transporter is still unable to obtain a reliable signal. Let me worry about the transporter. Just get your people ready to beam out. What are you waiting for? I was speaking to my captain. It's all right, Commander. Do as he says. Aye, Captain. Ah, Captain. I don't believe we've met. I'm uh, James Kirk, Captain of the USS Enterprise. And you are? I am in need of assistance, Captain. Tomorrow? Mr. Spock, it is a relief to see you here. Tomorrow? In what way can we assist you? Our station has experienced a complete loss of power. Our transporter functions are also unreliable. There does not appear to be a safe way to beam out. There's always a way. Scotty, think you can get a lock on me? I'll try, sir. What's going on down there, Captain? That was a wake-up call, Mr. Scott. I need you to work a little faster. On it, sir. We should make our way to the transporter, Captain. Oh, after you. So, how do you two know each other? We were classmates back on Vulcan. Just classmates. I realize this may be difficult for you to understand, Captain, but on Vulcan, relationships between the sexes do not automatically imply an intimate past. Another reason I'm glad I'm not a Vulcan. I've got manual lock, Captain. 
Ready and waiting for transport. See? There's always a way. After you, Captain. I will not leave this vessel until my crew is safely out of danger. As a captain yourself, I'm sure you would do the same. I like this one. There are a few that you do not like, Captain. Prepare to energize. Thank you. Oh, we gotta run! Alright. It's their fault they were wearing red. Keep moving! I'm going! I do not think this station is salvageable, Captain. Oh, you think so? Oh, no, it's plenty salvageable. <laughs> there is no time to stop. Thanks for staying the obvious spot. Alright, come on. Follow the lady. She might know what she's doing. Alright, here we are. What's there, guys? 